Hey you all. Um, I'm sitting on a balcony right now, as you can see. It's got the vibes. Let's not meander. So it's obviously been a while, and I just feel like I just feel like I needed to address this psych now. <laughs> and things are happening. Um, this video is mainly for you know, kind of like an update for my riders, you know, my subscribers and my consistent watchers, whatever you want to call it. Just wanted to say um, I'm sorry that I haven't been consistent, and you know. Compared to a lot of YouTubers, obviously, it's not a lot of y'all. It's not a lot of people that consistently watch my videos. Um, but I'm grateful for the ones, of those of you who do. Um, like, for real, for real. If you know me and you watch, like, you know. For real. I'm super grateful. And so I still felt the need to say that because I've been horrible on YouTube. Um, yeah. I haven't been consistent, like, ever. Not to make excuses, but y'all, there really do just be so much happening in my life. I feel like... <laughs> Um, one, as y'all saw, I just got married and I'm not about to go down the whole spiel of my life shenanigans, but, um, that's one that I've obviously shared about on my YouTube channel. And so that's a big, that's been a big transition that's come with a lot, um, not in a bad way, um, or not even in like the most heavy way. There's that, but there's like plenty other stuff that has made it hard for me, but I'm not going to dwell on that. I have plenty of plans for things that I'm super excited about. If I had my other hand, I would do the like evil evil finger thingy y'all know what i'm talking about one of those big things that i'm excited about is something that you may have already noticed if you've been a subscriber before if you've, or if you've seen my videos before and that's that i changed my youtube name so listen y'all i just feel like uh, this is kind of what's behind that um i feel like as a recently married 23 year old who studies psychology um and who is constantly like asking a lot of the big like heavy life questions um kind of letting y'all in on my the way that i think um i'm constantly asking the big questions right i study psychology um i'm looking at my notebook per usual i study the bible and i study people constantly um i do ministry often you know um and so i'm I honestly i have a lot of opinions that i feel like um this generation gen z needs to hear which um obviously a part of if you didn't know it's hard because um this is where i'm i think i'm going to talk about a little bit how i feel in regards to like what i think i'm going to put on the thumbnail which is that i don't fit in with my generation that's why i changed my name to not your average gen z it's hard being somebody who isn't kind of going along with masses who um doesn't keep up with the Joneses. Blah, doesn't keep up with the Joneses. Um, that's kind of an old saying, uh, ironically, me using old sayings. If you don't know what that means, that just means that you kind of do what I just said or don't do what I just said. Keep up with the masses or worry about what everybody else is doing, following trends, ways of thinking, all of that kind of stuff. Now, not saying that I'm like completely just countercultural in every way. Like, obviously, there are similarities that I share with other people and um, in my generation, things that I do like resonate with but for the most part y'all it's hard to find people who are talking about things that are different it's hard to find different perspectives and if you do find them um it's often in the midst of controversy because we do live in a culture that cancels people uh, we do live in cancel culture um and so somebody just started playing loud music okay so we're back. Yeah, it's hard being somebody who has both traditional and modern views. It's hard being a Christian in 2024. It's hard being even like married in, you know, in a generation where a lot of people aren't getting married. It's hard not being on social media. I mean, on social media, um, which I'll get into that later. I'm making a whole video about that. Um, it's not hard in the sense like that I miss it or that I'm like itching to have it or be back on. It's hard from a standpoint that um, maybe hard is the wrong word. It's hard in the sense that, you know, a lot of people aren't walking that walk with you, um, which I'm, you know, definitely OK with. Um, while at the same time, it's worth, I think, being talked about. So. So, yeah, um, I appreciate all of you um, who watch my videos who have similar thoughts. Um, I'm obviously still finding my audience and finding uh, my swing or kind of getting my footing on YouTube 
but you can expect a lot of that from me guys just a lot more um, sharing of things and stories and things that are actually in my opinion which are actually um, worth it and worth listening to and not the average story that you're gonna hear um, that sounds really salesy I don't mean it that way I just mean that to say um, part of my plan is to be a voice that I feel like um, I don't see as much you know out there in our generation right now and beyond generations before us and after so yeah keeping that in mind um, like I said I'm just still figuring out what that looks like in terms of my audience here on YouTube and how to really like orchestrate that space that safe space that communal space where we can talk about things um, and people can share opinions and people can find relatable content um, still getting there but here are my goals this is where y'all come in um, again that sounds really salesy but I don't mean it in that way my goal you know for YouTube is to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours by um, March so I want to be monetized by March just being vulnerable and part of me is even like on the fence about whether I should say that um, while at the same time I feel like first of all everybody knows that you know those are the requirements and like what that means um, but at the same time, you know, I just hope that my vision for this channel comes through more than anything. That would just be so amazing. I would be so grateful for that if that were to happen. So in short, expect some vlogs, some more vlogs, which I'm also learning how to do. If you watched, if you didn't watch my last video, go watch it, the cabin getaway vlog. Um, that was rough. <laughs> it took me forever to record. I'm just you know, learning, getting into the swing of how to vlog and how to even edit all of that footage or that much footage, uh, like kind of like spontaneous random footage at once. So y'all just gonna have to be patient with me. If you don't have patience, maybe this isn't the channel for you. <laughs> just kidding. My channel is for everyone. But yeah, expect some more vlogs, expect some like commentaries and like educational slash enlightening content as well as some more tutorials and things like that hair videos you know all that kind of stuff too i still like to do therefore i truly would love it if you know you <laughs> the viewer <laughs> um you who's watching i truly would love it if you hit the subscribe button um help me reach those goals um i'm tempted to say help us because i really do want to build a community you know not in a phony or type of way but um, a genuinely, again, like safe space here on YouTube where people like me can share their thoughts and find um, enlightening and helpful and entertaining uh, content. Content that's thought provoking and fun to watch at the same time. So if you haven't yet, go ahead. It's only going to take you a second. Um, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, click the like button, and leave some comments. Um, that's something that I live for. I mean, like, therapy and psychology is, you know, my field of study. Like, I like to talk, so leave some comments. <laughs> but not for real, become a part of our growing, my growing community, my internet friends. And if you have any 2024 goals, um, I thought this would be cool to add towards the end. If you have any 2024 goals of your own, they could be YouTube goals or regular goals. Um, if you have any 2024 goals, your own share those down below as well we'd love to get the conversation going because it's about that time you know what i'm saying it's getting close to the end of the year we gotta you know step out the gate what that what's that uh song called rip me out the plastic i've been acting brand new that's the energy every time at the beginning of the year <laughs> anyways yeah y'all that is all that i have um until next time until next time community um that's it for now but i will be seeing you guys very very soon um, because again, consistency on what? 10. Um, I'll be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, y'all. Yeah, I'll see y'all later.